Good afternoon, everybody. Welcome back to another vlog. I'm actually really excited to do this vlog. It's been a while since I've posted a vlog. I think my last vlog was in February for my birthday. So this vlog is going to be more easygoing. Uh, hopefully it'll be short, but uh, today my husband is off work. Today's his day off. So we're going to spend the day together. So we're going to invite you to come along. A lot of things to do today. We're going to meet up with our lender for getting uh, approved and getting paperwork done. Our meeting starts soon with that. And then we're supposed to view a home earlier today, but sadly it was canceled. And so we may view another home later today. And I'll take you guys along with me for that if it does happen. And then we're gonna grab lunch. So I'm excited to have you guys join in and just come along, grab your coffee, grab your juice, grab your tea grab a snack and let's get started. So welcome, come along. We didn't get to finish grocery shopping. We were at Walmart because we're on the way to view the house. We talked to our realtor about viewing the house earlier and so she invited us to come see the house. Um, it was like, what, two, three hours ago. So now I mentioned earlier that uh, the other house was canceled earlier this morning. So we're gonna finish grocery shopping after we view the home and then we're gonna grab dinner at one of our favorite restaurants that's based here in Illinois. Search the P. Do they know? S. Oh, I guess depending on how you say it. Yeah. yeah. Can oh. you guess? Can you guess this famous restaurant in Illinois? It's well known. It's a hot dog place. Well, don't go, don't give me any more details. Oh. Okay. Well, it's known for its burgers, its hot dogs, its I don't know fries, its shakes. <laughs> it's chocolate cake. Yeah, chocolate cake. I read that the house was. I read that the house was built in 1941, so it's very, very interesting. Oh. Okay, so we're almost there. So, we'll talk back later. See you.
afternoon. Today is the next day. Today is Friday. My husband and I got back home pretty late and we were just really tired. We had a long day and we had to finish our grocery shopping after we had dinner at Tillo's, my favorite, favorite restaurant. If you've been to Bertillo's, uh, go ahead and drop a comment on your favorite item on the menu. I think there's one in outside of Los Angeles, California, and I think one in New York, if I remember. But it's based in Illinois, and it's really, really good. We did look at the house. As you can see, it was built in 1941, and it was just garbage. <laughs> Uh, it needed a lot of work done. Um, it was a fixer-upper, basically. Uh, there was a lot of water damage in the basement. Um, the kitchen floors were unleveled. The bedroom, one of the rooms didn't have a closet. The kitchen had plaster walls. It was just not our cup of tea, <laughs> what we were looking for in a house. So our realtor told us just to pass on it. It's not a good choice. So it was nice to view a home, but we don't want to rush into anything. So we're gonna pass on that one. But other than that, we got back home pretty late so I didn't get to finish filming. So I decided to make this a two day vlog and I guess you will spend Friday with me again. All right, you guys, here are the groceries that we got yesterday. I'm just showing you guys what we got for inspiration on ingredients and what to buy. I got this box of mashed potatoes because I figured it's easier to have a box that can last a little longer than buying actual potatoes and having to peel them and everything. And so I guess it's just like a mix. You just throw in some water, some butter, salt, and just mix it up into fluffy mashed potatoes. And then I have Velveeta macaroni and cheese. I love Velveeta macaroni and cheese. It's so creamy and has a really good texture. And then here I have some more sugar. My canister ran out of sugar, it's getting pretty low. Here, I just have the Walmart brand of light brown sugar for baking. And then my canister is getting low as well for brown sugar. And then I just have dish soap. I like this scent from Gain, it's called Honey Berry Hula. <laughs> um, yeah, it smells really good. And I think it was like $2, $2.97, so it's pretty affordable. And then here, I have this called Nashville Hot Style Fried Mix. My husband loves it. It's by, it looks like Calhoun, Calhoun Bin Mill. Um, it is an old fashioned uh, business, but this is Kristen owned in the inside, or I think uh, right here, as you can see, um, it says Proverbs 3, 5 through 6. Um, it is a Kristen owned business. So if you're interested in that, um, and supporting Kristen businesses and everything, this is a good start. Um, it's a spicy fry mix. So it's like flour, or I should say pre-seasoned flour that you just throw your chicken in there. It's already seasoned. It's very, very spicy. And it's the kind of seasoning or the kind of seasoned flour where you have to use eggs, like double dip in the eggs to make it more crispy. I've had it a couple times. It's very good. And then here I have hot taco seasoning. I have a little canister I keep my taco seasoning in and that's getting low. So I got two packets of taco mix. I just got a new shower puff because mine fell apart in the shower, strangely. <laughs> and then I have two towels because my towels are getting kind of old. I have green peppers, an onion that was like 98 cents, lettuce, Roma tomatoes, and then I have this, which is a uh, baking powder. I have baking soda, but I heard that baking powder is a lot better. So I just grabbed this. This was like a dollar seventy-six, I believe. Uh, I have this uh, Campbell's jambalaya soup for my husband. He loves jambalaya, so I made this for him for lunch when he gets home for lunch. And then. For my husband's uh, smoothies, like a vegetable-based smoothies, he adds in these beets. So we grabbed a couple of cans of um, beets, pretty affordable. And then dryer sheets, about three ninety-eight. dollars um, They smell really good. So just for the store brand, um, it smells really good. And then another store brand of dishwasher pads. So uh, about $1.97, I believe. And then sour cream for my pasta recipe. 
and just for like uh, tacos and things like that for my husband um, <laughs> um coconut water for my husband uh he likes adding this into his uh, vegetable base shakes or drinks you make in the blender i'm gonna start using these too because coconut water has a lot of nutrition uh butter i got unsalted butter and then i got um ragu classic alfredo sauce and then another ragu of just regular spaghetti sauce and i have tomato garlic and onion i grew up using this particular uh, flavor and i just love it and then i got a pack of cookies as you saw earlier i like walmart's um, cookies that comes in this package like this i'm not a big fan of walmart's bakery to be honest but i like a few things i like their cake slices their white cake slices and their um cookies their sugar cookies in particular so these are really really good and then I got chicken wing guts, <laughs> chicken wings that's already like cut and portioned. And I need to put these in the fridge pretty soon. And then a chuck of ground beef. And then for breakfast, I got bacon and then sausage. I like Bob Evans uh, sausage patties. And then large case of eggs. My husband is a coffee drinker. He loves coffee. So we decided to get this... Um, well, he got this Maxwell house that's bigger and then reusable cake, cake cups. Let me show you guys how it looks. They look like this. They look like this. Like they're reusable cake cups. If I'm saying that right, Keurig cups, cake cups. For those who drink coffee out there, it's something like this. They're refillable. So you don't have to keep buying the same brand of like your cake cups. You just fill in this reusable one. With your favorite coffee in the machine will just keep doing the work for you with this reusable so it's kind of nice to have it saves money ice right, and then now we got spinach mixed with kale i love kale and spinach <laughs> so we got this big bag for salads for sandwiches and for our um vegetable base smoothies that we use in our personal blenders and then um, cereal that my husband gets, um, it's like Golden Grahams. And I picked up this duster. I like the old fashioned, old school duster. I like reusable dusters, but it kind of gets wasteful buying them and then having to toss it out, you know? So I like to just use these feather dusters and it is washable. Um, juicy juice and then lemonade. I want to try this Prairie Farms lemonade. It looks really good. And then a huge box of cat food. And then I love fruit snacks. No shame. <laughs> so I got this flavor, berries and cherries. And it's just, they're so good to snack on. I also picked up this little pie tray or pie pan from the Pioneer Woman at Walmart. It's very small. I already have another one of these. Here's my other one that I have, but I wanted two of them. So that way I have the matching set, like yellow and blue. So, um, yeah, I like how these are so tiny. And you can use them for, like, as an actual bowl, like to mix things in and for snacks and for treats and everything. They're just so pretty. It's just so dainty. So, yeah. And then also we had to go to Bath and Body Works and pick up a gift for one of my sisters. And so... Um, I picked this up at Bath and Body Works. It was $3.95 foamy hand soap and it smells like fresh lemons. And so for the spring, I do want more of a lemon scent style for my kitchen and throughout the summer. So I just picked this up. Paper towels. We also got cat litter. We also uh, bananas, kiwis, and then asparagus here. In the freezer, a new box of waffles, frozen blueberries, um, pizza, ice cream, and like a lasagna dinner, and broccoli right here somewhere. Oh, there it is, it's over here, <laughs> broccoli. I'm planning on cleaning out this fridge and reorganizing everything. Last night we were so tired, I just stuffed everything into this freezer as you can see. Now I am currently cleaning out the freezer. I did just finish cleaning out the refrigerator and wiping it down and it looks so nice. I'm going to show you guys the results when I'm done. 
as I got started on the refrigerator, maintenance for our apartment came over and they were, they've been fixing something in the apartment. So I just decided to continue cleaning up the kitchen, wiping down the counters. I cleaned out the garbage can completely, wiped it down, and um, I'm going to get started on the dishes after I'm done organizing and cleaning out the freezer. So now I am done organizing the freezer and this is the results of the refrigerator and the freezer. And as you can see here, I started using this little plastic container to help thaw out meats. I've been using these old plates I've had for many, many years, but I just figured sometimes the the substance from the meat starts to drain out and so it's best to use a plate or a container to have the meat drain out as it's thawing out in the refrigerator from the freezer and so a container kind of helps with bigger portions of meat When I'm done cleaning the inside of the refrigerator, I also clean out the outer part of the refrigerator. I just use my Clorox spray and a paper towel just to wipe the outer part of the refrigerator. Make sure you do that too. Lots of fingerprints and food and things like that lands on the refrigerator. So other than that, it's all good to go. There's so much trash I took out from the refrigerator, you guys. Look at all this trash. <laughs> Some of this is from our um, from our rooms, the bathroom, and our bedroom. But um, a lot of recycling, oh, the garbage from the actual garbage can. You have to remember to clean your refrigerator out at least every two weeks or so, or else this will happen, and it will be a buildup. And since it was a beautiful day out, I decided to just go ahead and dump the garbage myself. Usually my husband does this for the household, but I want this garbage out of here and he doesn't get off till 10 o'clock tonight. So I don't want this garbage just sitting around in the kitchen, of course, all day, all evening, and all night. I want it out of here, so since it's nice, I just went on a little walk to just dump the garbage and I don't mind sometimes taking out the trash, if it's nice out especially. Just getting a breath of fresh air too kind of helps. And getting some extra walks in. All right, so thank you guys so much for joining in today's vlog. I really appreciate you guys coming along, joining us in our day. Feel free to subscribe to this channel for more old-fashioned living, homemaking, baking, recipes, crafting, sewing. If those things interest you, go ahead and subscribe today. It's free. And also feel free to follow me on Instagram. Down here is my Instagram username or handle. Um, it's also listed below in the video description box of this video. And over there on Instagram, I share more content on homemaking and nature, and baking and crafting. And I also share day-to-day -day stories of cleaning and reviews and day-to-day -day activities as well. 
So if you want to see more, head over to my Instagram and look at my stories and highlights. And I will see you guys in my next video. Until next time, God bless.